For days now, Ukrainians have fled their homes to dodge the waves of bombs as Russia invades their country. Meantime, a WSU athlete from Ukraine is watching her hometown turn to ashes from Pullman. She shared with our Amanda Rowley just how difficult it's been to see those events unfolding so far from home. Katerina Mestrenko is on the rowing team at Washington State University. She is living across the world from her family who live in the heart of Kiev, Ukraine. Since the invasion, she's been in constant contact with them. Katerina Mestrenko's home country is being torn apart, and she can't help but worry about the safety of her family and friends. It's just like a constant tear waking up and not knowing if my family and friends are still alive. Photos shared by loved ones in Ukraine show an almost unrecognizable neighborhood. There's the kids. They just woke up at five in the morning. I just didn't have a, their house. They didn't have anything. She doesn't even know if her own school or family's apartment is still standing. I don't know if anything like left of my apartment, but there was like a bomb right by that. Her family fled from their apartment to their country home about 30 minutes from the city. We have a big basement and the, where they able to take like people there. There's like more than like 40 people right now. So my dad just like opened the door. So some of the kids, they don't have families and some of the uh, just neighbors. She says they keep the lights off at night and armed themselves with shovels. Still, she says nowhere in Ukraine is safe. People try to run about, like run away from like big cities to the small towns, but there is no such a thing as a safe place anymore. Katerina prays for her family's safety and the safety of her friends who are fighting for peace in Ukraine. Many of them are only 18 years old. Meanwhile, she remains positive and hopeful the violence will end and her loved ones will be kept safe. Amanda Rowley, Krem 2 News.